right. Just shaking everything right, so that's the microphone on. Okay, so good news, as you can already see, is I've got the Iron Assault game working. Um, all I had to do, basically, was um, put everything on file. Um, I did it through the GoTech, uh, shifted it over to the Mister. That's already got an image on, so we're fine. It seems to work okay, so it looks like it's working. Um, so, cross fingers, be fine. Okay, um, let me just... I have to sort out my grouping, aircraft grouping as well. Uh, what was it going to do? What was it going to do? Oh, I needed to sort out the name. Game name name. Come on. Don't want to wait all day for this. There we go. Right. Let's get on to the computer. And just to reiterate for everybody who's wondering why I'm on the mister for this instead of real hardware. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, give me one sec. I'll be back in a minute. Right, apologies. So like I was saying, saying before, um, the reason why we're on the Mr. instead of the DOS computer, which is how I started this, is because the uh, SCSI CD-ROM has decided to basically fail. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. It basically, when I put the power through it without anything else, without it being connected to the machine, what I'm expecting to happen is um, it to power up the busy to come on and off again and then when i press the uh, eject button for it to come out and come back in again you know just just standard stuff what it does is it has the busy light that stays on for ages and then when i click the power button it mm, decides whether it's not going to come out then it comes out and then i press it again and it kind of goes halfway in to close and then stays there and it does nothing so i think that's buggered to be honest i don't know i've been told to kind of like reseat everything but there's nothing connected to it i think it's just fucked which is annoying because i spent about 50 to 80 quid on it and it was working perfectly fine um it's just annoying the ass to bugger up but I do have a SCSI interface in there, so it's not like I can't just get another external. Hopefully that'll work. Anyway. Um, so we need to get this working. Let's get this set up. So 3.11, 3.2 there. And then this needs to be CD-ROM of Iron Assault. And then we can reset and apply. We also need the... Uh, 
Actually, that should work. Do I have any sound on this? I should have because I'm pretty sure it was working with the sound. Oops. <clears throat> Where's Blaster? Okay. It's working. Okay. <clears throat> and you can see that's where we were, we were last time in Crab Basin Asia. And the logs are still there. From all the other kills. Alright, so let's check the net. Right, so we have 10 unit defense, 30, 30, 10. 20, 30, 20, 0. I'm assuming that's what we are. I don't think that's going to be a mission. Yeah, I thought so. So let's go for 20. Let's go for a factory. Right, territory. Heavy units and weapons are produced in this factory. It's defended by an external radar installation. Targets uh, destroy all units under construction. Secondary, find and destroy all missiles. Destroy the radar installation. And... I wonder whether the missiles are going to be outside here. You'll find a general area well defended, especially by the fact that it is guarded by external missile turrets. We can have mosquitoes, grey keys, and lobsters. It's okay, let's see. Don't want the medium assault. We do want this because it's a, it's a tank of doom. Yep. This is a direct missile in the cores with the last ones. The mines we want the eyes and that's just a standard cannon quadrant change this one just want a medium there right
Let's see if I can remember the controls now. Been since June, I think, when I last played this. Oops, don't want to do that with the mouse. Right, um, F1, let's look at F8, right, okay, The only problem with this keyboard is I don't have um, that. I might change this for the cam to the uh, keyboard with the um, um, button. Yeah. With a number pad because this is going to be hard otherwise. Sure, I've got a mouse, but it's not great. See if it will pick it up. Hopefully, it will. In general, I use the um, the Dell keyboard for the Amiga but in this instance I'm gonna have to be to that I mean the Amiga's not on anyway so it's fine but yeah it's fine the sound's still okay So those are all the way around, the ones at the bottom on the radio. Lobsters over there. Use a simple. What? You gonna go get him? I need him on radar. 
Alright, now I'll give him a salary. Lobster. His eyes are making very short work of the lobsters. Guy. There we go. Lots of lobsters down there. That was stupid, don't fucking get her. Oh, I forgot they kind of just decide to walk right into here. Yeah, that's because Ooh. one guy gone because he walked right into my fucking uh Goals done. So there's only one of my guys who dead up to fine. Sixteen. Yeah, okay. And then to swap to this. No place for you to sit, cat. I know you'll find a way because you're a bugger. There's the um, missiles. Oh, 
few of these. Sure that I need to get rid of yeah, kill the missiles. So there's a few of these then. Oh, the uh, tanks still okay then. Interesting how these don't have any, uh, or any uh, missiles or anything like that, apart from that one. Yeah, that's the other thing with now more powerful um, weaponry is when these idiots walk in front of you, they're more likely to die. Pixel, Dobby. There you go. Good. Stream still working. Problem is, is she likes putting her head on. Um, she likes putting her head on my keyboard, which means something's gonna go. Yeah. They're an absolute pain for that. Alright, so there's a few. Where are they? Around the corner, maybe. One grey key there. Someone behind me. Shit. They're all grey keys, it shouldn't be too much of an asshole. Shit, 
do apologize if the volume's a bit low, but this is because it's on Mister. everything now. Check. Yep. Another mission done. Okay, support units destroyed. Yes, I already know about that. Light damages. So you'll also notice that the CD uh, acts a lot faster, and that's because obviously I'm running through um, through ISO, so it's going to be a lot quicker, which is kind of good, but it loses the realness of it. Uh, strategy, oh news, let's have a look. Uh, following the destruction of their radar installations, the corporation has lost control of the local air space. This will allow our cargo vessels to pass through with greatly reduced danger. Right, so this one's next, is the base at 13 units. I wonder if it's affected everything else. 30, 0. Not much else. Okay. Let's go to that one. The corporation base in Hyper uh, Bad is the most important in the southern in southern Asia. It's operated by a main computer hidden inside the underground section. Inside the base you'll also find several boxes containing high-tech equipment. Our research center has most requested you could recover these. <coughs> Primary destroy the computer. Secondary rescue our pilots outside. And then bring back all the equipment boxes. So this is a city mission by the looks of things. So, right. Okay, so that's only one small area. Area is heavily guarded. Expect heavy defense, particularly in the underground section. We've got SBMLs, Grey Keys, and Gunners. Okay, so I should be okay with my armaments. Squadron. Right, go for that. One computer, three pilots, and three crates. Oh, 
Ah, excuse me. All right. Probably gonna be a bit heavy in this one. Oh, fuck, already. Gonna so I don't yeah they're, they're not too bad. Right, that's them taken care of. Shift your ass. So the planets outside should register in blue, I believe. There they are. Hopefully they don't get stomped on. That's always a worry. Another one around the corner, I think. I'm gonna go this way. Let the FPMLs in, but they are a lot easier to take care of. And what? We know the two round here. to that don't get in my way you idiot right I have to go around Well, that's him going. 
So the mech's doing somewhat okay, but I now need to sort out the... Pilots. See him. Won't see him on the map. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I can't see him on that part, but when you go inside, it's a bit easy. the other one. Don't get him away, you fucking idiot. I'll find him again now. Unless you crunch him because you're a moron. There he is. Right, that's done and damn, that's them done. Okay, so just need to do crates in the computer. signal. It's all around the corner. We have Gunners there.
gonna be some others in here. I've got most of them. That's where the crates are. Hopefully just three. Hopefully that's all that's in here. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Secondary gun. Just gotta go and blow up a computer now. And we're reaped. computer Is there a door that I'm missing? Unless the computer is outside, but I doubt it. It's missing something. Because the threat comes up here, but I don't see anything. And this is where I came in from. There's nothing here. There's no new door that I can see there. Thank you. 
There's nothing on that side. There's no room that I can see. Oh, wait a minute. This is likely where I've missed. There we go. sorted leaving only the computer which is somewhere down here use my standard um, cannons nothing else to uh fine and we're done on this mission Check everything. Achieved everything. Ahead. is brilliant. Hopefully the next mission after this will be a uh, one of the uh, flashy light ones. The equipment you brought back from your last mission has enabled our research centre to develop a new and more powerful radar and today it will be fitted to all our bases. The next one is going to be... We've got 30... Zero? Thirty... and another thirty. Hmm. Let's have a look at this one. We're gonna have to pick one of them. These depots are used to, st uh, to store numerous units for use in the West uh, Asian areas. The MN098 heavy unit is the main unit stored inside. We understand sections of the depo uh, depots are being used as a prison. Uh, destroy all the activated units stored inside the depot. And rescue pilots kept prisoner, destroyed the Death Adder Squad. No other Death Adder Squad. Right, okay. Got a couple of areas. It fears some Death Adder Squad is patrolling the area. The squad is made up to up three TAT units. Entrances to the depot are very well defended. Uh, units are probably going to be ants, tats, and lobsters. Right. 
Happy with that. Yep. Let's go. Tets, two prisoners, and two MNs. Uh, no, nine, sorry. Right. Oh, should I say 098s? Because that's what I used to call them. So it was easier to identify than trying to work out which is the M and which is the N. Top left first. I wonder if that's Death Heaven Squad. If we're going to take those out first, that'd be good. Yeah, that looks like them. Had a squad killed. Are actually turrets. Whoa! Or maybe they're just breakies. Maybe I should go around. Oops. Got the wrong 
keys. There's another lobster. Sounds like another one's gone. Is this the building stuff? Yeah, okay. So got rid of one. There's another lobster in here, yep. Try to shoot at something. Oh, someone did because it was going around the other way. Idiot. Well, it doesn't look too damaged, so I suppose it's okay. area
Hello there, Amiga Gamer. Sorry, I missed most of yesterday. It was on the, no problem. It's on uh, on anyway, so you can check it out. Um, what did I do yesterday? I think I worked out. Um, I t <laughs> off stream. I was trying to show that I worked out the array bit, and then for some reason, when I tried to show it off, it fucked up. So I did actually had to redo that all over again. And then explain the um, the record fun uh, well the record variable, which could be useful. And I did show the aliens game um, that I did use a similar technique for, uh, but we I say we um, it's usually called a type or something like that in kind of or structure in C plus um, plus. So you could use a record for it instead, depending on what type of game you're building. Um, but I got the array working so it would pick up the uh, whatever you picked up, and I just need to. I've not got round to um, putting it in the after attack, which is when the card loads, of just checking the um, the global variable because I've now got it so it basically does uh, so the global script because. The script uh, accepts two variables now. It's the first one is a number between one and zero, um, and one is basically if I'm picking something up, then I will do argument two of what I'm picking up, and then number two is just basically like print whatever's there, which is seems to be working at the moment. Um, in Pascal, we called it case. I think case is um. Cases if it's an if then else statement, but it's a neater one. So you could basically say, um, I'm just trying to think what the best example would be for a case. A menu would be good for a case, actually. So, like this particular floor options here, um, that you can see on the screen, you could possibly put as a case statement. So, like instead of saying if floor is added, if um, picks whatever, you could just have a statement that basically says, um, I can't think of what will pick it, but basically if uh, option one, option two, or something like that. And then you could basically just jump quickly up and down. That's generally what case would do. Um, speaking of old happy belief for you, thank you very much. I've got to, I'm going to eat some cake after. Um, in fact, I might do it in a minute. Go and grab some cake. Uh, like an extended if if something else. Yeah, it's I I just basically see it as a neater for, uh, way of doing if the nil uh, if the else. Although I have seen people do like um. When they try to do uh, an AI kind of thing, um, so if you're moving in this direction or this direction or this direction, there'll be a case statement for those three, and then within there, there's an if then else statement of what happens. Um, that's that's an interesting one I've seen, but uh, yeah. Um, but I like all oh, the other thing is I'm glad I'm. Getting back to this, I do apologise if the, the volume's a little lower, but it's this is through Mister because you already know my issues with um, the CD-ROM on the actual real hardware. But uh, finally going to get this finished now, so let's get back to it. That's a one, two. That's ants. Relatively easy to deal with. Possibly stand there and let me shoot at him, it's pretty good. Yeah, 
guess you have enjoyed this bit out here. Well, yeah, I'm determined to get it finished. I started it in December last year. And we, we returned back to it in the summer. And now I just want to get it finished out because we're on the last continent and let's get this done is basically what I'm thinking. Lot of these peddly ants around. Ooh! Bit of a sneaky uh, shot there. Just threw a load of ants at you. I mean, they're not hard to get rid of, but when you got loads of them. Currently, bash groups in my offside backups with our clone. Thank God for trial run settings. Um, recently been um, so when I had upgraded this machine to be on RX, not RX. What I'm talking about. Um, so this machine is now a Ryzen. That's what I was trying to say. And all the old, so the old uh, motherboard and CPU is now in the Linux server behind me. So you see, let me just give me a sec. So you see, uh, get my finger the right way around. That screen there. In fact, I'll just move my. Uh, Right. So, ah, this screen here, this is connected to the uh, Linux server, which is down below there. Uh, that is a Slackware machine. 14.2 is the last time I'd updated it. And I'm not planning on pushing it any further. Um, it's now got my... It's now got a four terabyte hard drive in plus um, I think the 120 gig hard drive that's got most of the OS on it. So uh, that's my file server now. Ryzen should be a nice Linux server. AMD are very good at doing first party drivers. Um, I've not used Slackware since the early 2000s. Yeah, that's when I did it. So that machine behind me is, so I've got Ryzen currently. And the machine that's there, oh, I think I promised the machine that's there, that's using the old FX 8350. Um, because originally it was going to use, um, I think I had an old, um, some sort of AMD 3000 series 64 bit, you know, the really old ones. Um, it was, it, booted once and then you, the power went through it but the CPU just died I don't know what the fuck was wrong with it so but yeah it's running fine it's nice and quiet Got in terms of got one more to get. Oh shit! Where's the prisoners? Please don't tell me I've killed the prisoners. That would be embarrassing.
still have one before the FX range in my desktop. Athlon X3 450 here. Don't suck it as the FX range. Just be fine. It, yeah, it's, it, that'll be AM3 plus, I think it is. Okay, that's worrying. So I'm pretty sure I've done both. Uh, okay. That's the prisoners are outside. Yeah, it's AM3. Yeah, AM3 plus, that's right. Pet off. Thank you. Don't want the uh, stream to magically disappear because the cat's decided to put a head on the keyboard. She loves doing. This desk took about 13 years now. We're starting to show its age with late Windows 10 builds, stupid background processes. We have done to Linux on the desktop about four years ago, no shoes. Yeah, I still I still use Windows for a lot of things. Um But I got the Linux thing as a kind of it was originally gonna be a um, media kind of file media server type thing. Um and we had it connected to the TV. Didn't use it much. In fact, I don't think we ha we hardly used it at all. And then when we moved here, um, I had plans to turn it into a file server and finally did it, so... Okay, where am I... Where are these prisoners gone? I'm sure I've missed the um Small. Since I don't have anything that's. So that's three. Sec, I'll have a look at the chat in a minute. I'm just confused as to why I'm being told that I'm not done all the mission objectives. I'm pretty sure I've taken out all the um, Media servers much now. Most of the stuff I stream to Chromecast. Uh, my Synology NAS is good for local media, though. 
Yeah, they finished one of four media server app basically open source Plex. Oh, Plex, yeah. Um, I use that a couple of times at work. Nice desk. Because I was thinking of NAS, and I was like, well, why? Because I've already got like a PC, and I could just like dump the hard drives in it, so it should be fine. I mean, for other people, they might prefer NAS because. You know, um, maybe it's more convenient or, um, what was the other thing I'm trying to think of? Uh, space is the other thing, because PCs do take up a bit and can do. Plus the other thing is, um, I am really discovered because um, Mrs. keeps telling me never to get any of the hard drive other than um, Western Digital, and um, I recently found out that Western Digital do a range of, of hard drives. So the PC ones are the WD Blues. Um, I don't know if I would already said that I'd managed to get a deal on a six terabyte hard drive from Amazon. Um, it's a WD blue for about a hundred quid. Um, I think it was like forty five percent off. So I picked that up and put it in this machine. That's why the other one's got a four terabytes, the old uh, second secondary hard drive. Excuse me. The other stuff they've got is I think purple is. Like video surveillance. Black is their high performance gaming one. Um, gold is, I think it's cold server. And red is for the NAS. Uh, I like the NAS two reasons. Uh, Synology 2 has very, work with very popular playing drawing less than 30 watts of power. I uh, use WD Red, but if you're going to go with something when you have performance, you need Red Plus or Gold. Red is the budget NAS line to use, SMR, which is bad for right times. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking maybe at some point I probably could go with the black, but, but at the moment, actually, I'm fine with the blues. Blues should be fine. Maybe I might go for black if I'm feeling very uh, generous. You know, I've got a spare bit of cash. Okay, so this mission is a bit... And I'm hoping I've not killed the um, prisoners. I'm confused now. I don't see the prisoners on the radar. There's only two places for me to go. So I need to turn all the way around. At the bottom one again. Uh, the Shiba are making the most stable at the moment. But to be honest though, I tend to go with reasonable drive, no raid, and cloud backup with encryption and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking of raid, but then I looked into it, and it's like, I think if one of the drives goes, it's a bit. Mm. So I thought I'd just just use some standard hard drives because at least if one goes, it's not going to take out everything else. Oh, and even thing about raid is, is it? I think it. I think if you put like um, twenty gig in, it saves three or ten or something back up. I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure about that. I mean, to be fair, I'm not going to be using it enough to... It's going to be an issue, I don't think. It's lovely when it works, but get a virus so bad, right? And replicates 
And if a rag trap fails, it typically has to be. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Raid repair it, but most of file systems are bigger up ahead for journaling, no dear repair. Um, X, 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 the journal file system X, XT4 uses 10%, I think. It's probably what you use on the next step. Yeah. I mean, I think, I, I think the Slackware is on, on X, um, extension 4. I'm just going to call it extension because it's wrong, but you know, um, but it, it, that's what it's on at the moment. Right, where is this? Confused. Oh, that's one I've not blown up. Right, so where are the prisoners? Or a different step. Oh, maybe they're down here. That's why. I was a little bit worried that I'd stepped on them. Hopefully. Two in here. There we go. Slow down a bit. I can see him now. There we go, John. Everything's John. Right. Time to get out of here. Another mission done. Right, um, no idea what X stands for. I've used it 20 years. It's Unix, so it's probably some joke or recursive acronym. Yeah, when I remember doing it, I remember it was, um, I think two and three were still, were, because I don't think two is used anymore i think three might still be used i uh, remember two and three and that was going back to 2000s um linux, linux distributions i think the first one i started off with was with the uni ones and that was um red hat linux um i played around with mandrake mandrake was very similar to red hat i think um is set. Yep, yeah, I knew that was going to happen at some point. I'll read the, the, the this in a minute. Um, what else did I use? I knew somebody that had a proper Debian, Debian uh, one. Um, what else? Did, I think I used a couple of others. I can't remember the others. I don't know. Just, found Slackware and stuck with it and I've not looked back since. Um, Red Hat here, I have a giant bucket of loft that came with the CDs. Uh, and Suze, I'd, yeah I've heard of Suze. 
once I started doing this and stuff with Lennox, I moved to Debbie and pretty much stayed there. Um, let me just double check the move up, not on the wrong. I think the move up's okay actually. I think I did, forgot to change it yesterday. Yeah, I forgot to change it yesterday, but that's fine. Uh, I'm not using W, it's Debian based. Yeah, I did. I didn't look at it. I wasn't a big fan of Ubuntu at the time. I remember mainly because Ubuntu was a pain in the ass. Not for the, it being... I mean, it was designed to be simple for people to shift over from Windows, and I get that completely. It was, I think it was just the... You didn't get really much help from people because you just get, like, people asking stuff. And then, like, half the post of responses were people screaming about Debian and how awesome it was. And it was just like... Uh, um, a bunch of still horrible, I mean, it's the best derivative. Yeah, it's just nice to hear about some of the old ones that are still going. I think the, the weirdest one that I had, well, I said the weirdest one, but it was kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it, it was called And Linux. And I remember having a dual hard drive with Windows and Linux on the other end. And I managed to get it so that whilst Windows was still being used, it would pull up. Um, it would also um, use the second hard drive to pull a Linux bit as well. Um, that's going back 20 years. I didn't use that often, it was just something to play around with. One of clip trying to set trans, but trans are unsupported. Red Hat's still going, but Fedora, a home net. Oh, it's Fedora. Fedora is another one I remember. Not used, but heard of as in distributions, because the thing is, it's, it's the thing with Linux. There's so many different distributions. And, um, yeah. Anyway, um, Codename Silent Death. A terrible danger is directing our pilots. The corporation has just created a new kind of chemical missile. Which is able to kill a pilot inside his unit. Ooh. The missiles have been stored in local de depots until the report follows. That's not a good thing. I'm getting desperate. It's essential that you destroy all missiles before they're armed. Any missile not destroyed will result in many allied deaths. Good luck. Uh, yes, enough no talk. This mission next to murder. <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 it's, no, that's no problem. And it's probably going to be another stream before I finish this anyway. Well, I think we're halfway through it. Uh, halfway through it, halfway through this continent. And then what I can do is I can kind of rip the um, some of the voices for the SFX stuff. I think it's that one and then this one. 24 chemicals, 12 heavies. Oh, and I've got shitty bloody weapons. Probably not in a great mech either. Better than the medium one. That's the only thing about these missions, the quick ones, is you tend to be in a slightly shittier mech.
but I'll find out what I'm making in a minute. And I know which how to be able to sit up a lobster. Find out what I'm in. No, never mind. Don't do that. SPHC. I can't remember if it, that's a decent one or not. So, these units are down. Seem to try and keep um, hidden as much as it can be. Is it me or did that mech just suddenly disappear, even though it's in the middle of the street? Shit. Oh fuck, it's a tat. There's a pretty, uh... I'm now starting to uh be not great. Let's come back to redo this one. And like I s oh no, that's not good. Targeting go. That's what happened eventually. I, I think they're okay. The, the, I think they're kind of heavies. It's fine. I can then. Um, get him out of death.
and pick them off from a distance. Something spotted me, but obviously it must be through. The walls or something like that. Excuse me, the hook, so. Alright, that's that dealt with. It's a mess on torrent. Out the way. Maybe what I should do is I should just sneak in. More like a hit and run type of thing. So there's these four here. They finally kind of come in. That's what I was trying to do with last time the tent. That took quite a beating as well. Signal that uh, room needs to kind of Survive this one. Especially with the mech being everywhere and I'm being slammed by the cats.
A5 engine. One behind me as well. See him. Uh, that way. That just ignore for now. Especially when I've got another one and I'm going to walk out to the cats and they're just going to take me out completely. Watch me back into uh, Taking out eight, uh, six, six, twelve, thirteen so far. Where's it gone? Wait a minute. There's some more in here. Let's see if I'm fast enough to kind of smash into them. <laughs> I'm going so slowly. That even um, me walking into him is doing nothing. Right, okay, I'm good a minute. I'll have to do this the other way. Now, what was the keys to pull the in? Um, it's this one.
Well, at least I got the heavy missiles, Jim. I'm gonna hold out hope for anything else. That it in there. Yeah, that's it in there. So there's been a bit of an improvement on the mission. I've got one more door to do. Yeah, those are not. Sitting duck now. Oh, nobody's in here. So I could potentially do the rest of the mission. But I still need to be picked up, so. Yeah. And I can't be picked up within here. So question is, can I No <laughs> I was gonna say can I wander around the corner without dying? Oi! Get off Billy Cat. Ahead on my bloody keyboard again. Right, I'm gonna nip and go and get some ice cream, so give me a moment I'll sort that out. But, um, so we were that far away from actually doing that mission, but, uh, yeah, that's more dangerous than Max. Yeah, see, see, you are dangerous. Yeah, yeah. She's in that kind of like. Now she's looking at me like, what? What? Teen. No, you blink your eyes at me like you've got nothing on. Um, like you're doing nothing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me go and grab some cake and ice cream. I will be at a few minutes, so I'll leave the, uh, I an assault thing on for you. Um, give me a moment.
Right, I'm back. Oh, you might want to have a look at what I'm eating. So, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Spoon fell up and hit the cat and the cat's like, what the fuck are you doing? Right, give me a sec while I go and change the spoon. Poor cat was absolutely offended. Okay, I'll do this the proper way, shall I? Um, since I've got a second can. Tell you what. Oops. I really need to sort this fucking HDMI splitter out. Right, um. The problem is, is when you move the power cable on it, it just dies for a second. Right, let me just... Upside down, unfortunately, but uh, see if I can put it back the right way around. So the ice cream bit is basically one of those, um, you know, those ice cream lollies. Because um, I don't have any ice cream, ice cream officially, so and that's now a mess. But uh, that's basically that. Looks a bit messy, but it, I guarantee it looks quite tasty. Well, it is tasty anyway. Right, okay, let's put the cover back on. Let's take the screen cam off again. Okay, nummy num. Right, I'll give this another go, I think. Um, it take me ten minutes, maybe. I was sitting last time, we almost did it.
Yeah, I had to bin the chocolate because uh, I wasn't quite sure. It, it is chocolate. I just um, didn't know how long it had been there. It might have just come off, but also I didn't want my cat licking it because obviously ch cats and chocolate do not go together. Right. Try this again. Maybe this time I'll be third time lucky. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm already shot at. Those have got targeted on me. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Ronts on these Because I want to use the um, give a targeting for the tats. So that's gonna be Torrent. What I wanna try and do is use the um the fire and forget ones for the tats in here. Because they're going to be...
Okay, so that's going better. Got another tat in there. Right, that's it. Okay, so... Take these two out. Now, hopefully... can do this a bit better. in the way of here you'll be able to do the rest of the mission cross fingers this had two in so I need to and there's this guy side without being targeted by anybody else. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Careful now. Three in here. 
Mix a bit swingy, but we're getting there, I think. Mech should be okay though. Let's be able to take these in. Well, uh, oh, missing one almost. Sixteen done. Got one across the other side, then we can whip around the corner and grab, uh, get lifted out. Finally done this one, and then we could probably call it a strain. Rather than attempt getting the other uh, shit. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Luckily, I got picked up in time. Medium damage is not so bad after the third attempt. And that means, let's look at the net. There's nothing on the news. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the strategy. We've got two missions to do. So I'm going to do those next week, I think. We're pretty much getting to the point where we're done on this. So that's good. Takes it out. Okie dokie. Thanks everybody for uh, popping in. And for the chats. Um, I will be back on Friday. Let me just have a look where my stream schedule is. There we go. I will be doing two things on a Friday. Um, I will be doing the high score for 1942. Um, they're looking at the B ROM, so hopefully the Mister has the B ROM. And um, the other thing is, I will also be starting um, Gunman Chronicles on the Windows ninety eight box um, because I suppose installing stuff in a new eight gig IDE. Um, I came across it and I was like, I've not played this in a while, so I'm going to play that too. Um, almost there, thanks Nemcoves, no problem. And yet yeah, we are almost there, which is good, because I can finally say I finish this now. Good wrap-up time for me, as I've got to go and mod tower stuff in 10 minutes. Yep, uh, that's with 48k RAM, I believe, probably. Let me just see. This one's on. Anybody's on at the moment. Oh, no, there's a few people on. If I finish in that time, I will probably read um, back to, I'll probably just blow for a bit and then go read 48k RAM. Um, yeah, so that's Friday. We've got for, uh, uh, the Goodman Chronicles and we've got the um, 1942 um, high school. Sunday, I'm not going to be in, unfortunately, which means another week that we're not playing Tomb Raider. But again, we're close to finish that one. Monday we are going to be um, we are going to be playing through 
last half of darkness making lots of notes because now we've got to the point where we can put cards in we can save inventory there might be occasions where we might have to do extra bits of coding but that's fine i'm fairly happy with everything at the moment so we can just kind of do all that i mean yeah i could have done that before but sometimes it's good to get in and, and show people around and for myself i'd not actually use can do so it was kind of a learning process anyway um and then there's wasted dreams afterwards which we've we've um played last week uh, sorry yesterday and i had to use the walkthrough and i'm still confused as to why i'm running around gunning people randomly just because just yeah okay i mean i enjoyed the game but it's just some of the decisions narratively it's a bit kind of uh, you know um and then Tuesday, what we're going to do on Tuesday. What did I say we're going to do on Tuesday? Oh, right. So next Tuesday, yeah, that's right. We're going to carry on with this. We should finish this next Tuesday. And then after Ryan Assault, we're going to go back to the 486. And we're going to start one of the um, D&D Gold Box games. And that is going to be, uh, I think it's Pool of Darkness or Pool of Radiance, one of the two. Um... Just announced new stream tonight. Okay. Um, let's see who else I can read instead then. I'm tempted to go to Charlie Far to be honest. Because I was Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> irony there me game i was thinking about that because i did i did pop on earlier um before i started my stream so i think yeah go back to charlie's on his um yeah bro okay so that's my schedule for this week and uh hope to see friday if not uh you already know my stream schedule so popping when you need to uh or when you can sorry nita <laughs> when you can uh let's go and read charlie far who is i believe still doing ant stream stuff yep he's doing arcade ant stream i think he's playing up and down at the moment uh see so yeah um yeah that raid started Right, again, thanks very much, and I will see you Friday, if not, um, well, what's that, open oh, down, is this the current Me Meister challenge, okay, fair enough, um, I've lost my train of thought, <laughs> okay, yeah, so, uh, again, thanks everybody for, to know, I will see you Friday, if not, uh, whenever you can, and, uh, until then, see you later.